Good day, senior high school learners. This is the fifth episode of Personal Development, and we are on our week five. American philosopher and psychologist William James once said, The greatest weapon against stress is our ability to choose one of over another. I am Ma'am Merle Tabang, your teacher for this week's lesson. Prepare your pen and paper, and together, let's get engaged to our topic, Coping with Stress in Middle and Late Adolescence. These are the learning goals for the day. Number one, discuss that understanding stress and its sources during adolescence may help in identifying ways to cope and have a healthful life. Number two, identify sources of your stress and illustrate the effect of stress on your system. And number three, demonstrate personal ways of coping with stress for healthful living. Before we proceed to today's lesson, let me know if you still remember your topic from last week's video discussion. Get your pen and notebook and answer these two questions from the topic, The Challenges of Middle and Late Adolescence. Are you ready, class? If you're ready, let us start answering. Number one, it is the condition of being sound mentally and emotionally that is characterized by the absence of mental illness and the adequate adjustment especially as reflected in feeling comfortable about oneself, positive feelings about others, and the ability to meet the demands of daily life. If you answered mental health, you got the correct answer. Number two, it is the state of being comfortable, healthy, and happy. If you said it's well-being, you remembered it right. Congratulations! You have finished the fourth episode that gave you enough knowledge on the challenges of middle and late adolescence. Let us now discuss how adolescents like you can cope with stresses in your life. It is a usual thing to hear our classmates, friends, and even family members venting, Oh, I am so stressed today. What makes a person stressed? Do you know that there are ways to cope with stress? As an adolescent, when do you feel stressed? What do you do when you're stressed? Do you know that too much stress can lead to health problems? Before taking you to a very exciting and significant lesson today, let us first answer a short quiz to assess what you already know. Are you ready? Directions. Answer the following questions and write the correct answers on your paper. Number one. Which of the following is not a manifestation of stress? A. Joy B. Panic C. Anger or D. Desperation If you answered A, you got yourself your first point. See, all of the following can cause stress except one. Which one is it? A. Sickness of a loved one B. Life's transitions C. Listening to mellow music or the physical illness. If you think the answer is C, you are right. Which of the following is not a good way of keeping stress under control? A. Always hiding your stress from other people. B. Understanding the cause of your stress. C. Analyzing your stressors and writing them down. Or letter D. Learning to work under pressure or unusual conditions. For this item is letter A. What should you do if the stress increases and you can no longer contain it? A. Relax. B. Cry hard. C. Freak out. Or D. Stop working. What is your answer to item number four? If your answer is A, you earn another point. What could be an effective way to release your stress? You may have more than one answer. Letter A, talk to a trusted friend. Letter B, drink. Letter C, walk around your garden. Or letter D, watch a good movie. What could be the answer to this item? If you answered A, C, or D, congratulations because you are right. Count the number of your correct answer. Congratulations if you got a perfect score. 
thumbs up if you only got one or two items wrong. If you got three or more mistakes in this activity, do not be disappointed because this video lesson will help you dig deeper into the topic. Stress is a state of mental and emotional strain or tension resulting from adverse or very demanding circumstances. On the other hand, stressors are things that make a person stressed. A more practical way of defining stress is the feeling one gets from prolonged pent-up emotions. If the emotions experienced are pleasant and desirable, such as joy, elation, ecstasy, delight, you usually feel free to let them show. They are not suppressed. Therefore, positive emotions do not usually cause stress. Negative emotions, on the other hand, are more often held inside. They are hidden. You suffer quietly and you experience stress. Furthermore, positive situations can also result to negative emotions. A wedding, for example, is one positive situation that can bring about negative emotions such as anxiety and tension due to lots of preparation you have to do to make the wedding organized and beautiful. Just as there is a great variety in the range of emotions you might experience, there are many possible manifestations of stress in your private life and in your working life. Here are some words that describe the emotions associated with stress. Anxiety, pressure, misery, strain, desperation, tension, anger, panic, and sadness among others. Prolonged stress can be devastating. In fact, burnout, breakdown, and depression are some of the potential results of long-term unmanaged stress. By wearing a mask, you may expect to hide stress caused by problems in your personal life and not let them influence your performance on the job. But this will probably not work because the more you try to hold your emotions in, the greater the pressure buildup will be. From the time you wake up until you go to sleep, you may be confronted with a succession of stressful situations. Managing to get yourself out of bed and ready to face the day can be a challenge to your patience and ingenuity. You may face conflicts in school or at work, such as coping with unrealistic deadlines, equipment failures, or unexpected bad weather. Even the reality of facing a pandemic nowadays can cause us tremendous stress. A series of stressful and frustrating experiences throughout the day can cause you to lie awake at night in an emotional turmoil, unable to get needed rest. You face the next day with less emotional and physical stamina. After another stressful day and another night without rest, you may have even less emotional strength and stability. Therefore, if not resolved, Trust may build up and continue day after day. A common cause of stress is dealing with life's transitions. This is especially true when a person must cope with too many transitions all at once. For example, Ellen has just completed a program in fashion merchandising. She is eager to get started on her new job. Her mother is ill and requires care. Her father died a few months ago. Ellen's new job requires that she relocate to a town 100 miles from home. The move, a new career, and a change in family relationships may cause excessive stress to her. Too many changes have arrived at the same time. You can avoid stress, but there are many effective ways to handle it. You can manage your life so that you survive the emotional downtimes without allowing stress to engulf you. However, when stress is constant and too great, your wisest option is to find ways to reduce or control it. You need not and should not live your life in emotional stress and discomfort. Stress can be successfully managed. Here are some suggestions that may help. Number one, understand the causes of stress. Understanding why you are under stress is important. This may seem obvious, but requires deliberate, conscious effort to pause 
and simply ponder your situation. Try to discover your stressors, the factors which create the stress in your life. Number two, analyze your stress factors and write them down. Write down your response to stress. For example, you may write down, I feel tired most of the time. My lower back seems to ache all through the day and night. I miss deadlines and run behind schedule. Analyze the stress responses and consequences and consider each item and ask why. Why am I feeling tired? Why does my back ache? Why do I run behind schedule? Carefully consider each answer because the answers will reveal stressors such as deadlines, anxieties, trying to do so much, managing time or money poorly, or poor health habits. Number three, deal with your stressors. Develop techniques to deal with the causes of stress. The longer you avoid with the stress factors, the more the stress will build up. If tension comes because you have put off an unfinished task, restructure your priorities so you can get the task that you have been avoiding out of the way and off your mind. Number four, learn to work under pressure or unusual conditions. When you can't reduce the stressors, you need to manage your stress response. Almost everyone, at least at some point, has to meet deadlines, keep several jobs going at once, resolve problems that come up, and do extra work when necessary. However, when the pressure mounts, you can relieve it. Relaxation is the key. Yet, most people must train themselves to relax even when the pressure is on. Here are some tips to relax when under stress. Stop for a moment especially when you feel your muscles tightening up, and take a few deep breaths. Do a relaxing exercise. Swing your hands up your sides and stretch. Take a power nap. Lie down and totally relax for a few minutes. Find time to do things you enjoy. Leave your study area for a while to take a brisk walk. Find a quiet place to read a magazine or a novel during break or at lunch. If possible, look at some peaceful images such as forests, beaches. These images can initiate a relaxation purpose. Look up! Keep something humorous on hand such as book of jokes. Now, let us proceed to our activities to further enhance our discussion. We all have certain things, situations, or people that cause us to lose our composure from time to time. Determine what causes your stress by completing this activity. When you begin to identify your stressors, you can become skilled at preventing negative consequences. Below are some factors that cause stress. Place an X next to each factor that causes your stress. There are blank spaces provided so you can add your own. Being late. Interruptions while busy. Too much homework. Arguments with parents. Arguments with friends. Fight with boyfriend or girlfriend. Restrictions at home. Careless drivers. Chores. Loud people. Lack of sleep. Sudden changes. Classes. Baby crying. Difficult people. Betrayal of a friend. Finances. Losing something valuable, parents fighting, taking tests, video games, and using a computer.
you made it. How was your experience identifying your stressors? Did it help you somehow to feel good? For our next activity, write your stress coping skills on the video card. Are you ready? See your answers. Also, I have provided some examples in the bingo card. Smile and laugh, swimming, buying my favorite ball pen or notepad, walking, reading books, watching movies, playing sports, going to quiet places, cooking, chit chat with friends, cleaning the house, and gardening. How did you find our activity? Do you practice those in your life already? If not, would you consider applying those starting today? I hope that from the discussion and activities that we did, you got informed and understood everything. Indeed, stress is inescapable. But we can live well with it if we just know how to properly deal with it. For the summary of the lesson, I would like you to complete the following sentences. Number one, stress is... If you answered state of mental and emotional strain or tension resulting from adverse or very demanding circumstances, that is correct. Stress may be if you answered sources of stress may be unrealistic deadlines, life transitions, equipment failures, the pandemic, you got it right. Number three, ways to cope with stress include if you answered understanding the causes of stress, analyzing your stress factors and writing them down, as well as your responses. Dealing with the stressors and developing techniques to deal with the cause or causes of stress, learning to work under pressure or unusual conditions, you got it right. I would like to know if you fully comprehend our lesson today. Get your pen and a piece of paper again and answer the following items. Number one. Which of the following is true about stress? 1. Stress is a result of adverse or very demanding circumstances. 2. Negative situations can cause stress. 3. Stress can make a person less productive. 4. Every person can handle stress. Is it A. 1 B. 1 and 2 C. 1, 2 and 3 or D. 1, 2, 3 and 4 if you answer D, you got yourself your first point. Number two, what are stressors? A, things that make people stress. B, things that one person does to fight stress. C, things that keep you happy. Or D, things that you can avoid to be happy. If you answered A, you got yourself your second point. Number three, which of the following can be a result of prolonged stress? 1. It can help improve job performance. 2. It can improve your stress tolerance. 3. It can cause burnout, breakdown, and depression. Or 4. It can make you healthier and wiser. Is it A. 1 and 2, B. 2 and 3, C. 3 only, or D. 1, 2, and 4? What could be the answer for this item? If you answered C, congratulations because you are right. Number four, how can
can we keep our stress under control? One, always hide your stress to other people. Two, understand the cause of your stress. Three, analyze your stressors and write them down. Four, learn to work under pressure or unusual conditions. Is it A, 1 and 2, B, 2, 3 and 4, C, 1, 3 and 4, or D, 1, 2, 3 and 4? The answer for this item is letter B. Understand the cause of your stress, analyze your stressors, and write them down, and learn to work under pressure or unusual conditions. And for the last question, which of the following can you do to cope with stress? Number one, do a relaxing exercise. Number two, find time to do things you enjoy. Number three, don't mind it and do your task only if you want. Number four, look at some peaceful images such as forests, beaches, if possible. Is it A, 1 and 2, letter B, 2 and 3, letter C, 1, 2 and 4, or letter D, 2, 3 and 4? If you think the answer is letter C, you got the correct answer. Not the number of your correct answers. Congratulations if you got yourself a perfect score. High five if you only got one or two mistakes. If you got three or more mistakes in this activity, you may watch again the Let's Explore and Discover. How was our lesson for this day? Did our discussion help you to live a meaningful and happy life? I hope this episode will aid you in managing your stress better. For your assignment, I would like you to make a pledge to yourself on the things that you will do from now on to manage your stress and live a healthier life. You may start your pledge by saying, Whenever I'm stressed, I will. Write your pledge in a paper and you may post it at a corner in your room to be reminded of them every time. Thank you so much for being with me today and always keep in mind a verse from Proverbs 17.2 that says, A cheerful heart is a good medicine. Again, I am Mamro Tabang, glad to be your teacher in personal development. Until next time, here on Dream TV.